Hi, I'm Le Leilani Sache. I'm here downtown at the Los Angeles Film Festival. And I'm here with two lovely um, people that were in the movie that we're going to be featuring on tonight on the 19th, which is Lost Angels. I'm here with Manuel Benito Campito. So you're going to be, some of your art will be in the movie, displaying some of the art. So what are the stuff that you do down here on, in Los Angeles? Peace in the hood. Peace and Hood is what? A coloring book? Well, it's a lot of things. One thing is art. Okay. Okay, that's number one. But it is a uh, book uh, designed to uh, stop the violence and keep the peace. But it's a storybook. And we use the metaphor of the dog and the cat, which is true because the characters in this book are based on real people. Mm -hmm. Okay? And it talks about at the end, if you follow the storyline, it'll tell you at the end, if dogs and cats can live together, so can blood and crips. Okay. Okay, so it was uh, a coloring book was put together, all right, because uh, based off of Skid Row, as a matter of fact, if you looked at all the kids, so you also you want to see the city backdrop. I, don't, I want to include that because that's also for the kids. And those are little cities, <laughs> you know. I just wanted to mention, too, you, okay. you said you brought up the metaphor that yeah. you use dogs and cats, bloods and crypt. Okay. Do you not utilize the same premise when you utilize the three-on-three -three street ball league? Of course, like this man right here, he's one of the characters in the book, in the play. Uh -huh. you, know, he, you know, that's physical. That's yes. why he's here. Okay, Cause, because the book. This is a real life representation of what's really we seeing in the metaphor. Yes, sir. Okay, that's all. You know, we talk about cats and dogs and bloods and crips, but that's we got bloods and crips in the league. I was okay. gonna say, do you have active okay, gang so members in the league? Yes, we do, because we're because because the book showcases what we're all about, mm -hmm. and what we're about is, is recovery, life skills, and mentorship. You know, uh -huh. and, and job venue. You know, mm -hmm. partnership, mm -hmm. and, and these are the things that 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 to stand for our whole organization, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it, it was something that was handed down to us by OG man, and, and, and I thank you, you know, and and I feel real good OG. because I'm standing here on a red carpet with OG man All right. and being able to give my service, you know what I mean? OG! Three on three street ball league. Another character too in the book. It's more than just a game. In the book. See, the characters in the book is uh, endless. Okay. Oh, we got Henry Priest here. You got, we just do it live like this. However, Henry Priest is with us. Oh, wait. Yeah, yes. Henry Priest, why are we here tonight, Henry? Yes. Uh, we're actually here to basically celebrate Skid Row and all the characters and all the heroes here. And, uh, you know, just show the world that uh, there's a community here Dang. that deserves some uh, respect and recognition for all the great things that they're doing. And, you know, support the arts and support the community out here. We're the Downtown Film Festival Los Angeles, and we're happy to be here on Skid Row. Uh -huh. um, we think that this project has a home, and that's particularly this park. This yeah. Yeah. You know, this is this is the home of this particular film. We own you know, three it, does, it doesn't belong in a theater; it belongs right here, where all the the, the story unfolds. Okay. Los Angeles, Thomas Knapper is the director, and we're here. With, this is a documentary that's going to be so going to be shown today, this evening at 8:30 p.m. Henry Priest is making this happen for Skid Row. All right. Well, that's, that's a good script. You knew the script there. See, <laughs> see y'all know. I, she I needs know, some cue cards. I know who she was. All right. Like, hey, guys, you got to get back to work. Henry get back to work. Okay, we're going to let Henry get back to work. We'll get back to Henry later. Now you understand okay. the importance okay. in the movie? Of the, of the, of yes. The, of, the, of the community, see, because we understand it now what he just said. That's a metaphor. As we shape mm -hmm. that community, that's why I got to move mm -hmm. his stuff around. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As we shape that stuff and the story around it, when you look at the boxes, they tell a story too. Mm -hmm. They include the whole story. It's a real story. Mm -hmm. Once you understand it, then you understand the value of what that is. Also, it's for the kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's for the yeah. kids. Yeah. It's, yeah. Art. Oh, oh. it's art. It's art. The few, we the have art in the park. <laughs> Those are, this right here was made out of boxes. Okay. You know, people throw away. Uh huh. The people yeah, use to yeah, sleep yeah, on at night too kids. here. If you can't afford expensive canvas, you could take cardboard yeah. uh -huh. and turn it into art. Yeah, like, well, that's, that's what we that's do. That's Zero that's funding, that's taking that's nothing that's out of something, making it something. That's, that's, that's what, that's what that's we do. That's, 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 uh -huh. that's, that's, we utilize what we have here you know, you know, and make it happen. Okay. So what's happening with you, Linda? What made you get involved with this documentary? I live here on Skid Row, and I decided to make Skid Row my home. Uh, I met a lot of people. Uh, everybody down here is my brother and my sister. I have no, no color bearers on my shoulder. I love everybody. And, you know, just... It's just people, the people, 
the friends I've made, the people that I don't even know that know me, the people that greet me with a hug or kiss, you know, and that is what Skid Row is to me. A bunch of people, a bunch of family. Everybody know everybody. How do you feel seeing yourself on the wide screen with L.A. Live? Well, I'm lucky. You know, I'm lucky. And I, I, I have no... I, I'm in awe of what has happened to me in the last three or four years. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just, I'm just happy, you know. Um, relationships, my, my husband and I, we just we get along better. Maybe it's because of the money, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, but uh, I, I, I just love, do, I love doing what I did, and uh, I love the person for doing it and helping me through this. So how did you get in touch with Thomas Snapper? Well, I was uh, in The Soloist with Jamie Foxx and uh, Robert Downey Jr. Mm -hmm. And uh, he remembered me from being in The Soloist and KK, KKK. Kevin, Kevin Cohen. May rest in, may Kevin rest in Cohen. peace. He uh, introduced me to Thomas uh, again, and Thomas and I and a bunch of more people got together and we did it and we made it happen. And, you know, and that's what it was, what it was about. Making it happen. So what would be your Making message tonight to the people? You also sing in the movie, and what would be your message tonight to the people? Love yourself as Jesus has loved you. You know, uh, don't look back on the past. Keep pushing forward. Don't give up. You know, and just try to keep a positive attitude about life, you know, because life is worth living. I would like, I would like to say to the world that, that they should come down here and see for themselves okay. what's here. Because when they come here, they're going to see compassion. Mm -hmm. They're going to see love. They're going to see humbleness and meekness. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But if they come down here looking for trouble, you're going to find trouble. Just like wherever they're at, if they go looking for trouble, they'll find trouble. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. So, you know, come here and enjoy the warmth, the compassion that we have down here on yes. Skid Row. Uh -huh. You know, because this is, it's no place like this. Our music, our food, mm -hmm. our attitude, and our character explains who we are. Mm -hmm. So we welcome you. <laughs> See, I think you left out one important thing. Okay. Especially to the developers. Mm -hmm. Come and invest, but come and invest in the resource you see right here. Right here on this little camera. And more, because there's a bunch more of us. <laughs> <clears throat> and see, help us build that, turn that city right there in something real. Because again, we want to own, we said we could talk community. Let's not leave out the fact that in this neighborhood, this neighborhood where this Skid Row. Mm -hmm. You might name put a Skid Row street on there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for real. We need family units. When you we look do. at those family boxes, yes. you'll see what we want. Yes. Uh, you know, if you bypass the messages, you know, when you see the Skid Row Business College over there, you know, the Skid Row University. <coughs> yeah, Skid Row you know, Athletic Club. You know, Skid Row Athletic <laughs> Club. <laughs> you know, Skid Bank, Central all that Club. stuff. We want, the, we want that <laughs> old stuff. Apartments. And we smart enough to run that type of stuff. Yes, yes. I'm yes. Right. And I have one more so, so no, invest in us. Mm -hmm. No, invest. That's the key thing. You ain't gonna do no investing. That's why also the little boxes, those are banks. <laughs> you can put a quarter in there. A nigga, they got holes in them, and they're banks too. Thank you for joining us. We want to give a shout out to Blaze. You know what I want to say? Yeah. <laughs> United we stand, divided we fall. Uh, United we stand, divided we fall. Blaze mm -hmm. out. Once again, thank you for coming out to the Downtown Film Festival at Los Angeles. Thank you.